People don't just make jokes because they're happy. You know, we make jokes to hide things. We make jokes to puncture tension. We make jokes to stop ourselves from crying. The man to a man, stuffed with all honourable virtues. It is so indeed. He is no less than a stuffed man, but for the stuffing. Woo! Well, we are all mortal. I mean, it's timeless, isn't it? People sparking off each other. You know, there's pleasure. They take pleasure out of winding each other up and the one-upmanship that they have. And I think we all, as a company, want to really interrogate the truth of that, find, find where the, that humour comes from. It's a comedy because it's about love, but it's only funny if it's played for truth. If the Prince do solicit you, you know your answer. <laughs> the key things are what happens to people after war, how, how broken they are by what they've seen, particularly Claudio, he feels very, very reactive, quite volatile. And the nature of kind of shame, I think. Masking, covering up is a huge part of it. Uh, and covering something perhaps kind of a bit gnarly and uncomfortable. I will live a bachelor. I will see thee ere I die. Not pale with love. <laughs> With anger, with sickness, or with hunger, my lord, not with love. This yeah. production is set now. I think it's really important that we, as a modern audience, feel what Shakespeare intended us to feel. The shaming of hero, you know, back then, this kind of idea that sex before marriage is, is absolutely forbidden doesn't really translate to, to 2019. We're not going to feel the pain and shame that Shakespeare intends that moment to carry. So thinking about you know, a young woman being the victim of a, a social media prank, effectively. In a kind of 21st century Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, social media culture. At its most graphic and most destructive. Personally, it feels like a, a heart to play. I think it's a, about us discovering things for ourselves. Like how messy people are. There's a love, there's a lot of love. Uh, <laughs> what messes people can get each other into. Dangerous and confusing. Like how messy those messes then become. And like how much of a mess sorting out those messes are. Much Ado About Nothing is about letting your guard down, finding yourself and your happiness. Our graves that hide us from the searching sun Are like drawn curtains when the play is done